welcome back to Whiskey Wonder Woman. In today's video, we are doing James E. Pepper 1776 straight bourbon whiskey. And um, <laughs> I thought it was the James E. Pepper bottle that everyone was talking about that I should get, um, but it turns out that it's not. It's like the lower brand and there's actually a prettier bottle that I totally missed out on, but it's okay. I found this bottle in Annapolis for I think 20 bucks, so I thought it was a steal. And then I realized um, on the bottle, it says that it's just over two years old. So I really got a steal. <laughs> in this bottle lies the oldest and most legendary whiskey legacy in Kentucky history. The same old style and methods have been preserved and restored in this fine whiskey unfiltered and at a hundred proof this is the back of the bottle it has the snake logo slash flag of the first original 13 colonies and then it says born with the republic but honestly it reminds me of star wars established in 1780 during the american revolution the pepper family brand is the oldest brand of whiskey made in kentucky the brand was fondly called Old 1776 by the by its scion, the Colonel James E. Pepper. This fine whiskey was hand bottled at the historic Pepper Distillery, DSP Kentucky Five in Lexington, Kentucky. Aged over two years old, um, and on the bottom of the bottle, I don't know if you can see that. It literally says distilled by MGP. <laughs> but bottled by James Pepper Distilling in Lexington, Kentucky. This is what the back of the bottle looks like with the little snake. And this is the front of the bottle. And before I start, um, I just wanted to show you the cutest little bottle that I found at the Virginia ABC today. It's a little Angel's Envy cutie baby bottle I mean it's just so cute I'm never gonna open it because it's just a cute little baby bottle here we go that is definitely a huge pour my god well, at least you can tell that the color is light and diluted it's so shiny and light <laughs> very reflective for two years old there is some color here so maybe it's older than that it says aged over two years old so the minimum requirement was over two. So it could be like four, who knows? But then they should have said that it was four. I have to like swirl it around a lot because I poured so much, I needed to open up. Wow, it actually smells really good. I do smell a lot of vapor like it does smell young um i can't explain what that smell is of young um because it's not really grainy it just smells like it almost smells like it's um just alcohol but i do get past that i'm getting vanilla I'm getting something really sweet. Um, I think it's cocoa. Yeah, it's kind of, it smells a little chocolatey. Um, actually smells really good. I do wish that it had more oomph though because if it was older or I don't know like more age I think the aroma would be like really really good oh I got like a burst of chocolate that was definitely chocolate now wow wow that is really really good um I'm getting some type of like men fragrance um but it goes really well with the chocolate 
kind of balances out the sweetness. I am getting oak. I think I'm getting spice. Um, maybe clove or cinnamon. Because it's so fragrant and perfumey, I think it might be clove. And honestly, um, the notes are kind of leaning a little bit on the rye side because um, I'm kind of getting like caramelization, um, but not like bourbon where it's kind of like sweet um, corn. This is kind of like almost leaning. This is a bourbon, right? Yeah, just checking. I was like, I thought it might be a rye. Um, yeah, it's almost smelling like a rye, but it's not as spicy. So that's why I was like, oh, maybe it's smooth, but I guess because it's young, that explains why it's spicy for a bourbon. I don't know, but the aroma is not bad. Um, there's a lot of chocolate notes in here. Um, spices, maybe like clove, vanilla, vanilla bean. Um, the aroma is actually pretty good for this bottle. Um, honestly, I'm shocked. So with that, I'm gonna go in for the taste. Cheers. There was no finish at all. Actually, I take that back. I think I'm getting hints of maybe nuttiness or chocolate, but it just dissolves so freaking fast because it's really young. Um, I think this bourbon has a lot of potential, um, but I don't think I enjoyed it. <laughs> Let me go again. <laughs> A lot of legs um this is young um it's harsh it's harsh that i can't really get tasting notes and i want to say it's spicy like rye but then i might confuse it with the actual ethanol of the bourbon because it's young so i'm not sure if it's really rye to be honest with you but it is coming off spicy um <laughs> overall um they need to age it longer than it should be if it's aged over two years um and double that i don't care if it's four years just double it to eight and i promise you this will be so much better um so <laughs> because i can't figure out any tasting notes i'm going to look it up and see if I'm on track. Okay, I'm on the website and it won San Francisco 2021 World Spirits Competition Double Gold. Um, <laughs> who? I mean, if they wanted to go off aroma notes, yeah, I don't know. Taste? Eh. Okay, sensory notes. Rich bourbon sweetness and rye spice, I got the rye. Vanilla, honey, it was sweet. Cloves, chocolate. I got all those notes, except the honey. Um, neat over ice in a proper old fashioned, this whiskey rocks. Who wrote that? <laughs> Why would you write that? Technical, 100 proof, unfiltered, 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley in the mash bill. Age, three to four years old. Three to four years old. Um, well, age it for five, and let's see where it goes. <laughs> Distilled in Lawrenceburg, 
Distillery in Indiana or Bardstown Bourbon Company. It says seed back label for state distillation. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Um, <laughs> cut to proof and hand bottled at the historic James E. Pepper Distillery using water from the historic limestone well. That's cool. Awards. Oh my God, it has so many awards. <laughs> From 2023, 2015, 2016, 2020, 2021. New York and San Francisco. Well, they're not even like bourbon people, so that says a lot. I really don't know what else to say for this bourbon um, other than it needs to be aged longer. Although it won a lot of awards, it would win a ton more if it was older and I wonder if that's why that like decanter James E. Pepper bottle that everyone is raving about um is if that one is older and if that's like the older version of this because if that's the case let me know because this baby has potential so with that <laughs> I'll keep it short and I'll see you in the next video cheers